My first encounter with the Wolves was uh, during the season, during the, uh, during the EMBL. And uh, we played against them, it was my, my former team. I think uh, that was, you know, our first encounter for sure. And uh, Buda Velnik ended up, my former team ended up canceling the season for whatever reason. And uh, that opened up an opportunity for me to come here. And, uh, you know, it, was, it was a, ended up being a blessing. The hard working, you know, um, great organization. I think that's uh, really attractive for a lot of uh, basketball clubs. I just remember it being um, welcoming, you know, very passionate fan base for basketball. And uh, I think um, I think it's a very, very basketball centric country. So I, I think when the team and the club is, is doing well, I think you can really look forward to, to um, you know, a big fan turnout. Oh, man, uh, it's, a, it's a good question. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings or whatever, but, uh, but I think my, my first experience overseas was, you know, I, I think it was my, my best because it was just the first time, you know, like seeing everything and being outside of my country. I think Australia was my first job, my first. So I think, you know, it, it holds a special place also in our hearts just because it was our first experience, you know, and. You know, uh, it was uh, also an amazing, amazing country, you know. Different coaches will tell you different things, a different, you know, but I think for me personally, my main strength is um, just uh, being a team player, you know, in general. Um, I do, you know, what, what the coach asked me to do. Um, I try to you know, keep my teammates' spirits up in every way that I can whether that's um, setting good screens, rebounding, uh, scoring, whatever they need me to do, you know? And I, I try to do it to the best of my ability. That's a good question. I, I haven't really thought too much about it, you know? I've been playing professionally over 12 years. I've had a lot of accomplishments. I, I think winning a championship with when I was with Vince Bills in Latvia, I think that might have been for me, definitely the highlight. You know, there's nothing like winning. There's nothing like winning a championship, you know, and and after you have a taste, you always want to, no matter what team you go with, you want to win another one, no matter what. So probably, probably Vince feels the championship. You know, there's always, you know, uh, always goals, you know. Uh, anytime you sign with a new team, you have uh, more goals, you know. You want to, uh, whether that's, you know, just winning again, you know, win as much as you can, see how far you can take the team. So yeah, I think when you say you don't have any more goals or you, you have nothing else left, I think that's when you should probably, you know, retire, you know? So for me, there's always more I can achieve. Harvey Grant out of Oklahoma. Uh, well, I obviously I have a basketball family, so um, my father and my uncle played in the league in the NBA, and so we grew up a lot around it a lot. You know, we would go to the games, and we would enjoy, you know, enjoy the the company, and um, I think we picked up a lot from that. Me and my and my brothers, and uh, you know, um, even more than that, our father was really directly involved with. Uh, raising us in a basketball centric family and and we we got to we were really uh, privileged from that standpoint you know we were blessed with with a lot of basketball knowledge and we I think we used that to our advantage when I was younger uh, when I was much younger uh, when I was in like elementary school middle school uh, I played uh, soccer or football you know uh, for a little bit uh, baseball, you know, things that helped with coordination, you know, with footwork, hand-eye coordination, speed and everything like that. And um, I think it helped me, you know, I think it helped me in, in certain ways, definitely. 
actually, it was funny, my, when I was younger, um, one of my favorite players, and he was on my, my dad's team uh, on, on Washington, was Jawan Howard. And, um, you know, that was, it was really funny because like, um, they used to always ask me who my favorite player was, and I would say Jawan. I don't know, it was just funny, but, uh, but obviously, um, you know, my dad, you know, being the guy he was definitely helped us to bring me and my brothers to, to where we are today. I don't think we could get closer, you know. Um, one of the reasons, um, well, I mean, last week before I got here, I was at uh, my brother Jeremy's baby shower and um, you know, I was able to, the team uh, allowed me to, to be there for him and uh, and come here. So I'll be, I'm grateful for the team for allowing me to do that also. Our mother really raised us to be really tight as brothers, you know, and I don't know, he, you know, even though like uh, Jaron couldn't be there, you know, he, you know, obviously he's a Euro Cup MVP right now, but um, but we, we, we all talk, you know, every single day. It's a really strong family bond, you know, like I said, I, I credit my mom for that and we'll always be grateful. Yeah, the season's over yeah. for him. Um, but I mean, like like I said before, he's about to have a baby, so I, I doubt he'll he'll be able to to come to Lithuania for that. He actually came. Uh, all three of my brothers came uh, last time I was in Neptunus. They came uh, towards the end of our season to to watch one of our games. Actually, it was a game against Chalet, and um, all three of my brothers came to that game. They sat on the sideline, you know, with my with my wife, my daughter. They were all cheering, and. Um, that's also, that's a huge memory that I'll never forget, um, our last year in Lithuania. And uh, unfortunately, they, they won't be able to come this time because they're all, you know, doing things. But. Stick with it. You know, there'll be times when you're discouraged and times when you feel like you can't do it anymore. It's too much. But just sticking with it already puts you in an advantage over other people, you know, who might want to quit and everything and just have that hard work. You got it. You can't expect it to be easy. You have to work hard all the time, no matter what. I like to read a lot. Um, if you go to you know, my family's house, we have uh, stacks of books, you know, um, a bunch of bookshelves that actually need to get a new one, but I um, like to read. I like to write is really experience life however, whatever way you can, you know. Movies are my thing too, you know. Is I, I, I love seeing new movies, so, you know, just experiencing life in general. I think the summer in general is when you prepare, when you get your body prepared for the season, because in, in the summer, you can break your body down completely, you know, just just really punish your body. And then in the season is when you want to maintain that. But I think as far as like before games, uh, pre-game rituals, um, just getting in the right mindset, listening to music, um, you know, uh, trying to focus focus as much as you can on, on what you want to do, what spots you want to pick on the court, you know, your positioning and and um, obviously going over the game plan that the coach has for you. So.